hey guys my name is Kati. thank you guys for joining me on another episode so if you are new you're not already subscribed please make sure you hit the subscribe button it's it down below don't forget to leave your notification to be aware whenever i post every video don't forget to like and share don't forget to leave your amazing comments and yeah without further ado let's jump right onto this video okay so as you can already tell from the title guys i'm going to be making my diy african black soap shower gel for whitening to three shades if you're not interested in whitening up your skin to three shades then i think you should skip this video but if you are please keep on watching so this video is highly requested plus i decided to make this for a client that requested for a soap that would whiten her up but i thought to give you guys a recipe just for those that have been following me on youtube you okay so yeah let us quickly get right into this uh process all right so the first i'm going to be introducing is my ghana white soap all right it's very effective i swear by this i always use this it's very good for the skin yes yeah, so if you guys know me this is what i always use the next product is my ozone base soap okay very effective very potent okay you could use any color of it just but i decided to play around with the colors okay so you could use this it is a key ingredient for whitening okay but you have to be careful because it's very potent next is my sulfur the sulfur soap i got this time is mixed with turmeric so it won't just uh, clear up your skin from spot it also whiten up your skin the next product is my kojic acid soap you guys already know me this is my go-to i love this product because it helps me with um whitening up helps me to even my skin tone so i decided to um use a uh, half of this into the diy okay the next product is my yori gluta i always love this soap okay it helps with uh, whitening up your skin. It contains uh, glutathione. It's SPF 50. And another thing I love about it is the ginseng extract, okay? So this soap is very effective to even skin tone as well. The next is my sandalwood powder. The sandalwood powder is effective for acne, for pimples, and uh, all those kinds of things. Um, horrible things the next is cinnamon powder all right so um yeah very effective too for um acne very effective for exfoliation and all those kinds of things the next is turmeric powder okay this is a go-to for every diys okay for whitening up for brightening your skin for giving you an even skin tone okay yes and so the next product is my bicarbonate of soda very effective for exfoliation and deep pore cleansing very very important for this process and then the next is my size um, whitening powder helps you with whitening up your skin gives you this amazing white top that is clear and clean without any um, knuckles okay then the next is my crude chemical helps you with green veins have you helps you with um varicose veins it helps you to even your skin tone as well uh this is very important for diys and then glycerin which is uh, another natural humectant it helps you to trap trap in moisture to your skin leaving it very soft and supple okay next is my eucalyptus oil essential oil and then my tea tree oil all very good for um, problematic skin and acne skin then vitamin e oil helps you to um, humidify your skin helps you to make it uh, glow and then we have lemon okay very effective we're going to be using like two or three of these lemon um, helps you with um, it's a natural preservative and it helps you with a natural bleaching so you don't have problem with chemicals okay yeah so um the next product is my lime also same with lemon very effective for um bleaching natural bleaching helps you to give your skin an amazing clean clear look okay then we have coconut oil my staple i love this okay helps you with um glowing your skin helps you to give your skin a natural healing you know it naturally soothe your skin okay then we have the carrot oil okay my diy carrot oil very effective glow for glow very effective for whitening up your skin as well then another essential oil is rosemary oil and then my lavender oil these two is effective for acne effective for pimples and very good to heal up your skin from problems okay and then the next is um my peppermint oil very good heal up your skin is a very soothing oil and also helps you with with eczema and all those kinds of skin problems then we have the carrot extract juice okay whatever you call it it's amazing for lightening up your skin because it contains bitter carotene that helps you to whiten up your skin so quickly let's just get right into this video okay so guys the first thing you need to work with is a clean environment a clean bowl and a clean hand some persons tend to use gloves okay but i don't use gloves because it kind of slows me down so i make sure my hands are properly washed 
before I start the process. So what I do is I pieces the, the, the African black soap, the Ghana black soap into smaller particles. All right, this will enable it to easily dissolve during the double boiling. And then next is my uh, soap base, okay, the whitening soap base. I used a one third of each of the bars, okay. I make sure I grate them into smaller particles as you can see before adding them to the soap. And then the next is my uh, the other soaps that are good for evening the skin tones. That is um, gluta kojic acid soap and a yori gluta soap mixed up together in there. As you can see, I grated it. As I said, the smaller particles. And then the next soap I'll be adding up is my sulfur. Okay, with the sulfur turmeric soap. Okay, as you can see, that's what I'm mixing up together. Okay, this I'm grating together because it helps to like um melt easily when you're double boiling okay so next is to mix up my powder what i normally do is i get a separate uh, bowl and then i get one tablespoon of bicarbonate of uh, soda and then i get one tablespoon of the whitening uh powder too as well okay um and then i mix it up with my glycerin okay some persons tend to put it in directly, but I love to make sure that I mix them separately because it, I want to make sure that they are properly uh, mixed up together because this is a very, very serious uh, part of the whole process. So I need them to be all mixed up properly. So once I do one spoon each into the bowl, I use two tablespoons of the glycerin, okay? into the bowl and then i mix it up together to form a very very uh, consistent thick consistent paste okay uh yeah so i do this you could do directly but this is what i do all right and it is working for me okay so once i am done with that i will now uh, transfer it into the main uh soap all right so i'll just turn it in as you can see this is what i am doing turning it together all right so as you can see it has uh, a, a nice consistency it is mixed up together properly nice and smooth and then the next is to mix up a tablespoon of my turmeric and my sandalwood powder and my uh, cinnamon powder as you can see i'm so sorry i'm not too good with measurements okay because i do this uh, the way i want but now that you guys requested for measurements i decided to measure it all okay so next is my uh crude canacol i use a full tablespoon of my crude canacol into the soap uh which helps with green veins and varicose veins as well so if you have serious green veins and varicose veins you, sh you should be using more of the of the uh, crude canacol okay then the next is my eucalyptus i use like a full uh, cup of the eucalyptus oil into it okay and then the next um essential oil is my lavender i pour in like few drops like five to ten drops okay of the lavender if you have problem on your skin then you should be using more of the essential oils and then i use um a tablespoon of my diy carrot oil and then i also use a tablespoon of my coconut oil okay uh you could use more if you like but depend on the quantity of the soap but one full tablespoon is okay for me and then the next is my uh rosemary oil and um yeah i use like five to ten drops of rosemary oil same with my tea tree oils okay i am very very particular with essential oils because sometimes some persons have problems on their skin all right and then i use my one tablespoon of my vitamin e oil as you can see and then after um you know uh, getting the juice of the lemon and the lime i extracted them and then i pour it i sieve it in a sieve so as to get just the juice and not the um the shaft okay and then after that i'm using my um carrot juice okay i'm gonna be using all of the bottle because it's a shower gel and not like a solid soap so we need more of the liquids okay so after doing that you can see that the soap is almost ready the next is i throw in a few um like one tablet of my vitamin c because vitamin c is very good for the skin Okay, so quickly let us double boil this shit up okay yeah so this is me double boiling i i tend to make sure i turn this in the double boiler a lot okay you could use your stove you could use your gas whatever you're using make sure it is on a moderate low to moderate heat okay because uh, when you have too much heat um i wouldn't wouldn't know what will happen to you so go. let's just use low to moderate heat okay uh so this literally took like 30 to one hour 
um to double boil and melt up completely i was there busy turning it because the more you turn it the easier the lumps uh melt go melt okay i think that's what it means so yeah after doing that okay i remove it from the fire and allow it to cool off for like 15 to 20 minutes and yeah this is the soap already made okay this is where i add up my preservative okay you could add any preservative of your choice if you want to know the type of preservative i i, I added let me know in the comment section and then my um recycled container that has a pump because it's a shower gel okay so i turn it in and yeah our soap is ready this soap is very good will lighten up your skin you don't even need um a, a cream when you're using this soap once you're consistently using this soap i assure you i promise you your skin will be lightened up and it will even your skin tone you don't have problems with knuckles you don't have problem with black spots or hyperpigmentation because it has all the ingredients to cure whatever that your skin might be suffering from including eczema okay and then another question i know you will be asking if it it will lather okay um, it lathers so well like i'm gonna like show you guys how much it lathers you don't need so much of these okay like it will lather on your skin and it will you you would you a little goes a long way that's all i'm trying to say okay uh, you could use it as your face wash as well okay just uh rub it on your face leave it for like five to ten minutes okay it will be more effective if you leave it on your face for five to ten minutes just to have um, a clean white skin okay then you wash up okay you could also use it on your body leave it for five to ten minutes before you use okay but this is an amazing soap a whitening soap you have to be careful with this soap because it's good it's it's a mind-blowing soap okay so that is all about the uh, video i hope you enjoyed it sorry it's long i needed to give you guys a tea yeah so thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you leave your comments and until next time i would say bye love you